Hey everyone, it's Jackie. So I'm here today with a makeup tutorial for you guys. And this look was inspired by Selena Gomez Who Says music video. I love the song, I love the music video, and I was requested to do her makeup in that video. So this is my take on it. I'm not exactly sure if I, you know, I, like, I did a good job or not. Um, you guys let me know, but, um... This was my take on the look, and if you guys want to find out how to do this Selena Gomez inspired look, just keep watching. So I just filmed the Selena Gomez inspired makeup tutorial look, and I forgot to mention to you guys about a little promotion code that I have for you guys. So for this tutorial, I am using the Sedona Lace 168 eyeshadow palette, and I really, really like this palette. It looks like this when you open it, and it has this little tab here that you can pull out so... You can put the top layer right there. And these are all the beautiful shades and colors that you get with this palette. And you can order this palette from SedonaLace.com. And I actually have a $4 off coupon code or promotion code, whatever you want to call it. And I will have a link to that in the down bar for you guys. So, yeah, if you guys want to get your hands on this palette and save, you know, a couple dollars, I have a link for you guys. So, or a link or coupon code, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so check the down bar for that and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Okay, so first I'm going to do my really bad eyebrows using an angled brush in this color right here. Just a soft brown taupey color. Okay, so once we have our eyebrow done, I'm going to go in with NYX Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone. And it looks like this. And with my ring finger, I am just going to apply that all over my lid and up towards the brow bone. Okay, so once we have that done, I'm going to go with the Sedona Lace 168 palette. I'm going to take this super, super gold color right here and a regular flat shader brush like this. I'm going to pick some of that up and apply that on the entire lid, stopping right at the crease. Okay, and then next I'm taking this color right here. It's like a brownish gold color with a tapered blending brush like this. I'm just going to pick some of that up and I'm going to work this into the crease. Once we have that color in the crease, I'm going to go in with this black color right here, the top, and kind of an angled, not angled, a um, eyeliner detailing brush like this one right here. I'm going to take some of that and we're going to line our eyes, oops, our upper lash line. Okay, and then whatever we have left on the brush, we are going to, not exactly wing it, but we're going to drag it out. I guess it is sort of winging it, but we're going to drag it out like that. But we're not going to fill in this space like how you would if you would normally wing your eyeliner. We're just pulling the color out like that. Because from what I can see in some of these pictures I have of Selena Gomez, um, the shadow was pulled out further um, like that. So almost like a wing. And then the brush we use for our eyebrows, I'm going to use that with whatever was left over from that light taupey color. I'm just going to kind of soften, soften that line like that. Okay, so just like that. Okay, so this is the color we used on our crease. And I'm taking the color right next to it, which is a little bit darker, and the same um, tapered blending brush. I'm going to take that darker color and work this on the outer corner. I'm 
just making this outer edge a little bit more darker. Okay, so once we have that done, I'm going to take this soft peachy color right here and a big fluffy brush like this, pick some of that up and place this on the brow bone and also on the inner corner as well. Kind of just sweeping that up. And now with that same black we used for our liner, I'm going to take a short smudger brush like this and a little bit of that black and I'm going to apply this on the lower lash line concentrating on the outer corner and then just dragging that color in towards the inner corner. Okay and now with CoverGirl's Cover Blend or Perfect Blend um, <laughs> eyeliner pencil I'm going to line the waterline and also the upper tight line as well. Okay, and after that we are just going to curl our lashes and now I'm going to apply mascara and I'm using the Voluminous, uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Now that we have the eyes done, let's move on to the face. For foundation, I am using the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation and I am in Warm Natural and I'm just going to use my fingers to apply this all over my face and for concealer I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer and I am in um where's the color? oh tan, I'm in the color tan <laughs> just going to use my ring finger to apply some of this under my eye under eye area and um, any other blemishes I have on my face. Okay, and to set everything, I'm using the NYC Smooth Skin um, Loose Face Powder, um, and this is the translucent one. So I'm going to pick some of this up onto my brush, and then use the cap to swirl it and tap some off. I'm just going to apply this all over my face, and this lighting is making me look extremely white. Oh, I think that helped. I'm not sure. Okie dokie. So, for the cheeks, I am using the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Powder and looks like this. I'm using this, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm using this blush right here. I'm gonna apply this right on my cheeks like so and for lips I am using the NYC liquid lip shine in sun gold pink um, which I really really like it's just a sheer lip gloss that's very um, golden pinky. It's a golden pinky color, so I really like it and I think it's perfect for this look. Alrighty, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I really like this look. It's very, very wearable and um, it was super simple. So yeah, um, if you guys try it out, I'd love to see a picture. Or if you do a video, uh, if you do a video on this look, I'd love to see it in as a video response to this video. Um, or if you have pictures, I'd love to see them on Twitter, Facebook. Um, so yeah, give this look a try and let me know how it goes. And I will see you guys in my next video. 
Bye, have a magical day.